One. Hey guys, Eric from mobilemusthave.com here, and today we've got this nifty little DC powered five port PoE power over ethernet network switch that's awesome for mobile use. Come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. So for quite a while now, we've had actually an eight port version uh, this big boy here, which actually is pretty small considering it has an integrated power supply that will take 12 volts up to the 48 volts needed for power over ethernet on our store, eight port with some fiber connections as well. Um, so that's a great option if you need uh, a lot more power, that's like 150 plus watts of power. But for smaller installations, and if you just don't need that many ports, uh, or if you just wanna save a little bit of money, we have this five port variant here uh, which is a great little uh, network switch. So if you go to, you know, pick up a standard switch from, you know, Staples or Best Buy or whatever, those are gonna require uh, 120 volt power. Basically they use standard AC power because most people use them in homes. Now most of those little adapter bricks that come with those switches actually are bringing the power down to 12 volts. They do technically run on 12 volts. Uh, however, they don't put out PoE or power over ethernet, meaning that you can power devices like uh, security cameras or usually wireless access points, small little access points via that single ethernet cable. So what makes this device unique is that you can go ahead and wire 12 up to 48 volt DC direct wiring in to this removable uh, power input right here. And then that will, hi to the warehouse dogs, <laughs> that will enable the uh, PoE or power over ethernet ports on this device. Now this device has five gigabit ethernet ports here. Typically four are usable because one of them you're gonna uplink to your mobile router or uh, mobile internet setup, and that gives you four available ports. Now the little converter inside of here that takes the 12 volts up to 48 volts will provide up to 60 watts of power at 12 volts. Now you may be thinking, well if that's 150 plus 160, is 60 gonna be enough? Well, a average access point from Peplink, say like an AP1 uh, mini, will use 12 watts. So 12, 24, 36, you're fine to go ahead and wire up uh, quite a few access points and this will run. Uh, you can also get up to 120 watts out of this device if you need to, you just have to step up the input power to 24, uh, basically 24 to 48 volts, but most people are gonna run on 12 volts. So this is really gonna put out a max of 60 watts, but 60 watts, so that's a lot of power from an access point perspective. The mini puts out about 12 watts. If you're stepping up to a Wi-Fi 6 access point, uh, like the APAX Lite, which is a great access point, that maxes out at 15 watts. So you're more than covered with that 60. And if you're going with a big boy, the APAX, uh, which is really an enterprise, access point, it's not really made for mobile use, but it puts out a lot of power for very distant, if you want a lot of range, go with the APAX. That'll use about 20 watts of power, 22 watts, I think, max uh, of power. So your 60 is still gonna cover you for those applications. You've got a nice ruggedized aluminum enclosure here. So this thing is really kind of built to be industrial grade. On the back here, we actually have a DIN rail mount that's pre-installed on the device. Uh, if you don't know what DIN rails are, you can actually just pick up DIN rails anywhere. They're basically just little strips of metal that can be screwed into um, you know, machinery cabinets, or you could just screw them directly to the wall, and then devices will just clip right on to the DIN rail. It allows you to put a lot of devices next to each other uh, and keep them very organized. But if you're not gonna mess around with DIN rails, they do include a little L bracket here that you can simply install in place of that DIN rail to get you a standard uh, wall mount that you can just go ahead and screw right to the wall. A common question we get about PoE switches is, what happens if I plug a device in that doesn't need power? Am I gonna damage it? The answer is no. PoE is a smart technology that operates and it knows based on communication between the devices whether or not it should or should not inject power into the device. So if you plug in regular desktop computers or other peripherals uh, to give them network access to your 
uh, network and they don't need PoE, it will simply be disabled and it won't take away from the 60 watts of total power you have available in the switch. This switch is an unmanaged switch. It's sort of a standard switch. You're not going to be able to set up VLANs or other things, although you can do that on PepWave devices and you could add multiple switches based on the number of LAN ports if you wanted to set up VLANs. But this is an unmanaged switch and the price reflects that, which is nice. It's really just designed to help you uplink additional wired devices. They've given us two little status lights over here, as well as an instruction booklet inside of the box that gives you an idea of what they uh, do. Mostly it's when it's powering on, if it's trying to negotiate uh, whether or not to provide power over ethernet. And then you've obviously got status lights on each of the ports as well to tell you that there is a connection to your other device and that traffic is passing. For a complete list of specifications on this device, go ahead and hop over to the listing page, which will be in the description of this video and click on the documentation tab there and that will provide you with a PDF link to all of the specifications. If you're thinking about purchasing this product or any product on mobilemusthave.com, we highly recommend that you check out our membership programs. Membership programs give you discounts on everything on our store. Uh, they give you access to the dogs in the warehouse. No, just kidding. Uh, they give you access to discounts on mobile data plans and probably most importantly, they give you access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center at rvmobileinternet.com, which includes forum access for asking more advanced troubleshooting technical support questions. That forum is staffed by myself and other team members. So if you want to take a look at the memberships, typically they will pay for a mobile internet purchase or the mobile internet purchase will pay for the cost of the membership on your first purchase. It's really something worth taking a look at. Uh, lots of savings there, upgraded shipping, all sorts of stuff, too much to kind of list. But if you go to membership.mobilemusthave.com, there's different membership level options um, with different benefits. Just check that out before you make a big purchase. Uh, that could save you some money and some headaches and some time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about this product or any product at mobilemusthave.com, you can reach out to us via chat in the bottom right hand corner, or you can email us at info at mobilemusthave.com. If you still are having issues or you just want to talk to somebody live, we are launching a new feature, which is that we are offering callbacks for pre-sales support. Uh, if you'd like to schedule a callback, please fire up a chat and ask somebody to call you back and we'll send you a calendar invite so you can pick a mutually agreed time to speak with a representative. Thanks so much guys and we will see you on the road.